This is the Connecting to Spirit podcast with your host, Susan Norton. Here, you will find ways for you of connecting to spirit. These are true stories. Welcome. When I was a young person in college, I was in a theater program. And there was one young girl there by the name of Debbie Thomas. And I would look at her and I saw this small girl, small young woman, and she seemed kind of gray. Her skin seemed rather gray and she was the kindest, most wonderful person you could imagine. She was so supportive. Uh, One day my director, theater teacher, just criticized me and made me feel so terrible. And she would come over and comfort me and she made me feel better. She was so thoughtful and kind and she was quite an amazing actress. But I would wonder sometimes about her eyes. They seem to have a film over them and she seemed small for her age and her skin just seemed to have a gray hue. And I was very self-absorbed at the time. I was doing a lot of drinking and very self-centered. Um, my life was not the best place at the time. And one night when I was sleeping, I had my mishmash drunken dream. And all of a sudden, in my dream, I saw a sky. And in the sky was her, her, her face. I saw Debbie Thomas's eyes and and she was looking at me and she was in the sunlight and she was smiling perfectly at peace, perfectly happy, radiant. Her eyes were clear. Her skin, her skin was just beautiful and she just was beaming at me. And then I went back to my mishmash dreams and I woke up in the morning and remembered this. And I walked to my theater class and I saw her best friend sitting there in class. So I sat next to her and I said, I had the strangest dream about Debbie Thomas last night. And she said, so did I. And I told her about my dream. And she says, we were grasping hands. And she said to me, the same thing happened to me in my dream. Except in my dream, Debbie Thomas spoke to me, and she said, I will be your guardian angel the rest of your life. And then in walks the teacher, and the teacher said, I have some bad news. Debbie Thomas died last night at two in the morning. And this friend and I were just shocked. We didn't know that she was sick, that she was so sick, that she had leukemia. We didn't find out till later. She had a rare blood disease, and she passed away that night. And what's so significant about this dream is that she could appear to me after death, and she communicated with me, and I got to see how happy she was and how healed and whole and beautiful, and that she cared enough to reach out to me and let me see that, let me witness her. And then to have her best friend have the same thing happen and to receive the message that she's going to be this this woman's guardian angel the rest of her life, that proves to me that life exists after death, that we have guardian angels, and that they can help us and support us. I have been telling that story for years and I'm so grateful Debbie Thomas got a chance to do that maybe because she knew I'd bring it out to this world maybe because she knew I needed that message at the time and also that there are people among us perhaps with illnesses or perhaps with their different states of being perhaps they're older or very young who are very wise and very spiritual Debbie Thomas is an incredibly spiritual person And she's highly evolved and advanced. And I really honestly did not know her that well. 
I appreciated her. I, I liked her. But for her to be able to reach me that way is amazing. There's something about that that touched my life forever. I will never doubt again that life just ends when we pass away because I'm 100% sure that this happened, that this was validated by the other girl's experience. And it's so helpful. I wanted you to know that too. And I know that from the work that I do and from the, the things that I see, that we always have ascended ones, angels, guides, power animals, God that helps us, that's always there for us. And when we open our hearts and we ask, and we ask to be shown or ask to see these ones, these luminous ones, that they can come and that they do care no matter how far down we've gone, what mistakes we might have made, because I know I made so many. It just touches my heart, and I wanted to honor Debbie Thomas and let her know that that was the most precious thing she could have done for me. And I'm glad she's healed and whole and happy and that she's in the sunlight and she's still reaching hearts. And I bet she's helping other people, anyone in need. Our neediness is what brings us to each other, that helps us reach out and seek solutions, seek spiritual help. And drugs or things that deaden us are not the solution. I tried that and it didn't work. It just brought me deeper into the tunnel. And I wanted to share that with you. So I hope you have enjoyed listening to this and 100% true. Um, and this was years ago and I remember it like it was yesterday and thank you, thank you, thank you. May you be blessed and guided on your journey and touched by your guides. They may come as lights, tiny lights out the sides of your eyes. You may feel a presence, something touching your hands or a warmth. The luminous ones always feel comfortable and good when they show themselves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a beautiful day. Take care. Mm. This has been a Connecting to Spirit podcast with your host, Susan Norton. If you like what you heard, visit us at connectingtospirit.com forward slash podcast for more listening adventures. Blessings. Oh.